Happy Sabbath Church. Today we'll discuss the man who made one of the greatest impacts on the history of our faith. Many have made an impact on the Adventist Church, but no one man has made as great an impact as William Miller. William Miller, who was born in the late 1700s to a poor rural family. He left and came back to the faith and started a movement that heavily impacted all of us. William Miller was born in 1782 to a soldier and a devout Baptist mother. Although never making a public confession of faith, his father often hosted traveling ministers in his home. Ever since his childhood, William Miller had a great love of learning. His love of learning drove him from religion and drove him back to it. Miller married Lucy Smith in 1803 and moved to her hometown of Poultney, Vermont. Miller, after getting married, started to doubt his faith and was driven by his friends to become a deist. But Miller became a respected man in his community and had 47 men request to sign up under him in the War of 1812. Miller fought in the Battle of Plattsburgh and had his belief in Deism severely shook after coming out victorious against battle-hardened British troops. After this, Miller started rigorously studying the Bible. During his rigorous study of the Bible, Miller found in Daniel 7 prophecies and calculated the return of Christ in 1844. Before he would even consider sharing his message, he spent 13 years trying to convince himself of his conclusions. After the 13 years, he made a vow with God that he would speak wherever he was called. Even though Christ didn't return in 1844, the Advent message still gave a sense of hope to thousands of people. It also spawned the group that created our denomination, the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Ladies and gentlemen, I challenge you today, if you are proud of our faith, to stand up high. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to commit yourself to continuing the work that William Miller started, please raise your hands.